Hi YouTube friends, welcome to another recipe video. Tonight I'm going to be recording here a delicious, um, or basically the way I like cooking my salmon, but it is going to be very, very delicious, I promise you that. So I have two pieces of salmon here that I've already taken out of the freezer. They're nice and ready to go. They're all falling apart, so I don't know, sometimes it's iffy which trip. Okay, so now typically what I like doing is I like um, making it in butter. And then I throw in some cream cheese and everything because I like it creamy. So it's not going to be a lot of ingredients, but I will show you exactly how is it how it is that I make my two pieces of salmon here. It is a little iffy because I bought these at at Smith's, but I don't see that it has skin. It says it's been previously frozen, currently thawed out. But I mean, I don't know. Hopefully they're not like genetically modified or anything like that. And then there's a bag of shrimp that I'm gonna put together, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these packages. The first thing I'm gonna do is put them on a plate because I'm gonna wash them, rinse them out. And then we'll move forward, okay? So give me one moment. Let me just open these up, okay? All right, friends, so here, here's the first piece. I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse it off. Any yucky stuff that might have happened to it. And then I'm just gonna place it here on top of a plate with a paper towel. And here I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, the other one. My handy dandy kitchen scissors. Same deal. Let's take it out of the packaging. Kinda just rinse it off. I just don't want any of whatever it might have in the package, you know? And it might just be me, but it's okay. So here it is. Come on, cameraman, follow me. It's my Habalicious, always helping me out. Thank you, honey, I love you. Okay, so here is how you're seeing them now. All right, it's gonna be nice and clean. I'm gonna flip them over. They've been now rinsed. That's how they look right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some seasoning. I wanna go ahead and try this salt today. It's gonna be my Celtic salt. Now this is just gonna be the one side right now. So there isn't going to be exact measurements per se because this is going to be to your own liking. Um, I like granulated powder or garlic. Just granulated garlic. It doesn't have to be powdered. It's... Okay, I'm going to use the full half cup of butter because I am going to throw in the bag of... I have my pan over here already preheated. Now I did preheat it on high, now I lowered it to about medium. So we're going to continue to have the butter melt. And it's just going to be a few minutes per side when it comes to that. So I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. Now the other optional, but if you want to, all base seasoning, very, very, very delicious. Let me finish some more garlic powder here. And it's just gonna be a little bit, and again, I'm just doing one side right now and I'll show you why. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a spatula here, a little one, and I'm gonna pick it up with the spatula. And I'm gonna gently place it with the seasoning side down, okay? Seasoning side down. And then we're going to go back and I'm going to grab the other one. And same deal, seasoning side down. And now while this is here, I'm going to go ahead and add 
the remainder of the seasonings on the other side, you see? Okay, so once again, you guys saw Old Bay seasoning, Celtic salt. You can use sea salt, it's okay. I just bought this one and it's, I'm, I'm like loving the flavor. So that's why I'm doing that. More of the granulated garlic on the other side. And so, you know, you don't want to keep it too long on each side. So far, it's been about a minute. I do have a timer for another recipe right there. So then that's why I know it's already been a minute, but it's been here. So we're going to do, I want to say three minutes, and then we'll flip. So I'll be right back. All right, amigos, so here we go. It's been a total of three minutes. So I'm gonna just right underneath. And then I'm gonna tilt the pan and flip it over carefully. You see that beautiful color? And then here's the one, the other one. Tilt over the pan once again and tilt it over. And that's probably even too much for three minutes, but this is the color I like seeing. And then there you go, I see it's 17 minutes here. So that's why I know it's three minutes. Once it hits 14 minutes, these are done. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, amigos, so as you can see, this has been another three minutes. And these are ready to go. And I'll just so you can see, I'll show you the other side. See that beautiful color there? And I'm gonna flip it one more time, just so you guys can see that color. Okay, so they are ready to go. So I'm gonna pull one out here. Okay, and now I'm pulling the other one out. And then that's just the butter right there. And there's number two, second piece of salmon. And so now what I'm going to do, if you want to come back this way, is I already took them out of the package there. And I did rinse them a little bit. They already like cleaned and everything. So now we're going to grab just one fistful full and just dump them in there. You can do more if you want, but that's the way I'm going to do it for right now. And here, that's just going to be in butter. And the only, the only seasoning I kind of want to add for this, the shrimp, is just going to be a little more of a good all old day seasoning. Just a little bit more. And that's just because the the um, actual salmon already has plenty of uh, plenty of seasonings that have dropped off here and shrimp believe it or not cook really fast look at how it's already changing color let me show you by turning that on you see how it's beautifully and pink now doesn't, doesn't even take that long at all. Shrimp in a matter of like two minutes or less. Okay, so I brought the, the flame up a little bit. Temperature basically, not the flame. Up, so I don't have a gas stove. Uh, just kidding. Oh, look at that one. It's trying to escape. You guys saw that, right? Live on camera. Okay, look at these beautiful babies here. That's that's whatever it came from the, the salmon. That's just the color it's obtaining. But these are done. Believe it or not, they're done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half a bar of cream cheese. Okay, remember my creamy. You guys remember my creamy sauce? 
that it's already been uploaded the recipe to my video okay so this I'm just gonna let it's just gonna melt it's just gonna melt because that creamy sauce remember I told you guys it's made with brown butter and cream cheese right so trust me this is just gonna melt away once and I'm not adding anything else it's just that into the butter we're gonna continue cooking until this melts away and reduces okay all right we'll be right back all right amigos I'm back you see that that's basically how it's supposed to look like it's not gonna be light because it has more butter than it does cream cheese if I added the other half of the cream cheese then yeah but no need I believe this is enough now this was one bag of shrimp which I believe it is like a pound of shrimp it's not a lot if you can see so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and serve it here on the same dish because this is the complete meal like this so there goes the shrimp and remember I'm not a chef so there's not going to be any type of beautiful presentation but there you have it right there now this is depending on where in your carnivore stage you are this could be enough for one person or two I personally have ate this by myself just the way you see all the little fat right here very delicious okay so I'm gonna grab this here and ta-da okay so mind you this is like a full meal um, it is a little later in the evening it is basically gonna be like a dinner I was a little hungry for my day 41 carnivore diet now I haven't been really updating a lot like that you know it's been more recipes than anything but i want to go ahead and just right in front of you guys so you guys can see how delicious this is it might need a little bit more salt to my tasting because remember i'm just pouring whatever i can hot nice and creamy and no it doesn't need salt. I thought it was going to need salt. It doesn't. Okay. That was a shrimp. And now I'm going to show you guys a piece of the salmon. It looks so good. Look at that. You see that right there? It's all buttery. It's all falling apart. The butter. Butter is dripping. Mmm. Salmon so good. Delicious shrimp. And I'm sure you guys have the ingredients. You might just have to go buy the seafood. I mean butter, cream cheese. It's a must for all carnivores. Okay, my amigo. So <clears throat> you saw me eating this delicious meal so you know of course that it's yummy i'm gonna let you guys go here i hope you guys do try it i know it's nothing fancy the only other thing that i'm gonna do to it just because i am always wanting to put extra on it is i'm gonna put a little sprinkles of the parsley just because parsley does give it another little taste to it and I do apologize. I am I'm holding it with my legs and unscrewing it. But there we go. One more bite right in front of you guys so you guys see that I added the parsley. You see that? Mmm. And I have a delicious bread in the oven. My cheesy bread. That recipe is already uploaded so you guys can watch it and make the cheesy carnival bread 
it's so delicious and it's gonna pair really really wear well with the salmon and the shrimp so i'm waiting on that all right amigos i'm gonna let you guys go here i know i did say that already and it seems like i'm repeating myself but it was just delicious i wanted you guys to see it how good it was that i was like willing to go back over there and grab some more okay thank you so much for watching and staying tuned for all my friends that watch all my videos from minute number one all the way to however long my videos are thank you so much i really appreciate you guys let me put myself under the light here it's just i look weird as all shadows make my face look all randomly weird but there we go when i do my hair like this it's like it reminds me of how big my forehead is gosh <laughs> Okay, amigos, I'm going to let you guys go. Have fun. Don't forget, you guys, you do you. I'll do me. And then we'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye, amigos.